Colorado Center for the Blind. Take charge with confidence and self-reliance. I have a feeling that I spend a lot of time in the kitchen now. Uh, my wife kind of said, oh, you can brag now you have cooking skills. I'm like, oh, thank you. Title, Jimmy Burnett, Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, I'm Jimmy Burnett and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I am now currently an ITP student here at the Colorado Center for the Blind. Today I prepared a mini meal for 15 of my fellow students and staff members. We see a clip with Jimmy and his guests as they begin finding their seats. I'm going to first tell you I had to plan it out with my um, home management instructor. Her name is Delphina and she's a great instructor. A picture of Jimmy and Delphina in the kitchen. We planned out uh, maybe two weeks, probably two and a half weeks in advance. I came up with the recipe with beer rice. rice. I want to do something kind of southern and country from where I'm from, which is country baked beans. And so we came up with uh, our third item was called pasta wheels. And the theme of my dinner party was we're going to have a really good time. An image with two pasta wheels in the title, A Wheelie Good Time. But we couldn't find the pasta wheel, so we really didn't have a really good time. We changed it. I found bow tie pasta. So the theme became quickly a bow tie affair. An image of a tuxedo featuring a bow tie made of pasta. The title, A Bow Tie Affair. I um, started out Monday morning preparing my pasta. As Jimmy describes his preparation, we see him bringing out the finished trays of his food and placing it in the serving window. Did a lot of chopping, cutting, putting um, black olive in it, excuse the pun, olive garden fresh dressing, and some cilantro in it, along with some uh, shredded cheese uh, and some Parmesan cheese. It took a little while, but I, I boiled the pasta and it came out really nice. At the end of that day, I sliced and cut up about 12 sweet onions and I had to do what we call caramelizing them. And caramelizing, what we do is slice them up thin, and put them in a pot and let them heat up and crystallize for about an hour. And it's longer and a little bit more tedious than you think, but it was really good. Next, we see a clip of Jimmy taking the brats out of the oven. I put those on my brats for the next day. I cut down um, my baked beans, um, slice up some on uh, onions, a lot of onion slicing, and I dice those into tiny cubes, um, green peppers, mustard, ketchup, and some brown sugar. I mixed all that together and I let that cook for about 45 to 50 minutes and let it slow, slow bake. And it turned out absolutely delicious. It was great. I was quite nervous about it. This was my first time ever doing this before. So yes, this will be my first time cooking for a group of this size. Some of the comments I had was like, oh, this is great, this is delicious, uh, you did well, and I was humbled by it. Food's good, Jimmy. It's delicious. Thank you. Jimmy always does a spectacular job, whatever he does. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, I really enjoyed it. I liked the compliments I got out of it. Um, it built up my confidence in cooking you know, due to uh, great staffing here at Colorado Center for the Blind. Um, I had a lot of support from my colleagues here and a lot of my, my friends here said I'm going to do great. I think it turned out pretty well and I think this is a bow tie occasion. So this is not the last you will see of me. To learn more about the Colorado Center for the Blind, visit our website at www.cocenter.org or call 303 778-1130.